Now, the board responsible for holding Rochester police accountable with the goal of preventing incidents like the Daniel Prude case discussed today's settlement agreement during a meeting tonight. But what they did not discuss publicly is the abrupt suspension of yet another member of PAB's leadership team. On Wednesday, Michael Higgins was suspended as the chief of policy and oversight. It's alarming because just two days prior, he was promoting a new police misconduct proposal that he was instrumental in creating. No official word was given today as to why Higgins was placed on leave following our interview. We also interviewed the acting manager of the PAB Monday. At that time, Dwayne Bosco maintained the inner turmoil among leadership. The board and staff had subsided. To my knowledge, the staff has continued to move forward with the goals and agenda of the PAB. Um, it's important to understand that um, this agency uh, up until January or February of this year had three individuals on staff and we've grown tremendously over that time period but the goal never changed and the goal was to make sure that we provide community oversight to RPD's actions, policies and procedures. This year, the PAB has seen several board members leave. The chair of the board, Shawnee Wilson, stepped down after allegations of sexual harassment. And prior to that, the executive director, Connor Dwyer Reynolds, was placed on administrative leave following HR complaints. Reynolds is fighting to get his job back.